Hello, and welcome to another Wolfram Tech Talk. I'm Arvind Galzici, a content developer and instructor with the Wolfram U team. And today I have here with me Devendra Kapadia, who's going to tell us about the differential equations MOOC that he's been working on for quite some time now. Devendra? Right, so um, differential equations is my kind of pet topic that's what I've worked on at Wolfram since 2004, really. And uh, I'm really pleased that at long last we have uh, the MOOC the interactive course, more is ready to go uh, very soon. And uh, so I think it's a good time to tell people why we are doing it, what the background is, what it's like inside the course, and uh, where the future lies. But uh, as the name says, we are, we are called Bull From You. And uh, the goal is one day to be uh, a provider for people who want to get a self-contained uh, degree at home, uh, this one off, uh, free of cost and, uh, you know, where they can actually learn things at the right pace with the right kind of help. Mm -hmm. So perhaps I should just go ahead and tell you a little bit about uh, the background, which I'm sure you and other people know a bit about. But uh, basically, we began producing the first course from Wolfram from U uh, around 2018. And then we had the calculus course going out. The calculus mm -hmm. courses for high school students uh, for the AP exam, AP calculus exam. And actually that's a very uh, important thing. So we were surprised how popular it was. Um, and even today we get several thousand people coming to the course every month. I get letters from Nigeria, remote Nigeria, uh, from people who didn't have the power but they managed to get a computer for their, you know, uh, for doing the course. I get uh, email from people in the far away Himalayas saying, you know, they could actually learn calculus for the first time because of this course. So that's very heartening, very encouraging that, you know, I can, I've done all this work. So uh, that's 2018, then 2020, uh, I did a linear algebra course. And uh, linear algebra is, of course, very fundamental to data science and quantum mechanics and things like that. But uh, honestly, I thought the calculus course was a little too difficult. I had difficulty some of it myself, you know, so <laughs> if it's difficult for me, it must be even harder for students. So the linear algebra course is very nice and simple, but it talks about things which people like to think about, things like quantum entanglement, uh, you know, the work of Roger Penrose, people that who thought deeply about these things. So on the one hand, it's very easy. On the other hand, it's very applied and interesting. Yeah, it's fantastic to cover that sort of thing in a linear algebra course like that. Yeah, yeah, so usually it's, it's so, you know, it's just, here's a matrix, here's how you do row reduction. It's just, they only cover these basic things and they don't tell you what this stuff is actually useful for. But like you said, this is at the heart of a lot of data science, at the heart of quantum mechanics. It's very important and it's really good to convey that early on to people so they know what they're, you know, why they're learning this stuff. Yes, and we show things like, you know, uh, how do you compress an image in mm -hmm. uh, the word from language and you, we show the matrix and how it, you can collapse it down to, let's say, 40% of the original image. And so I learned a lot. I didn't know all the stuff. When I was a student, linear algebra was chalk and talk. Mm -hmm. And today it's a different game. So to be honest, I have evolved as well. Mm -hmm. So so uh, the plan now is that we want this new interactive course on differential equations to come out very soon. And uh, then the point is that we want people to leverage their knowledge of calculus and linear algebra, the mm -hmm. two things which, which you need to study differential equations. If you have those two, you're ready to go. But people might be different. They might say, well, I'll learn it as I go along. So you might want to combine the three and actually uh, you know, right. do a kind of hybrid learning for mm -hmm. uh, this area. Right, and for folks who haven't taken a Wolfram U course before, when you say it's an interactive course, what does that mean? Uh, that means that you go to the website and uh, you actually uh, just start off the course uh, and go at any pace you like. You can try things out uh, in the web itself using the cloud notebook. You can check things, you can scroll back, you can look at the text if you're more like a text reader you might have the lesson open next to mm -hmm. you, which is possible, and then just read that. So interactive means that you're all the time trying things yourself, going at your own pace, learning, going back, and it's much like being in a classroom, uh, and I would say even better. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm hearing is you have a scratch notebook where you can kind of work on problems while you're while you're watching a video. Yes, yes. And you, in addition to the video, you also have a kind of more lengthy text available that you can reference. Yes. So you have all this stuff available in one place. Yeah, while you're exactly. So uh, it, it works really well because uh, you, you can copy and paste things very easily into the, mm -hmm. the text uh, thing. So I think that uh, people find that easy because they can try things again, they can manipulate their inputs, 
check what happens in the chain things. And basically learning takes place uh, at a much deeper level than you would learn mm -hmm. on your own. Mm -hmm. So so that's, uh, I guess, the background to uh, the course. And uh, uh, the next point is to talk about maybe why we are doing it. So we really want to give an introduction to differential equations. Now this is, to me, one of the most important branches of mathematics. And in fact, uh, it's kind of relevant today because uh, differential equations uh, began after Isaac Newton, but uh, you know, in 1760, uh, Daniel Bernoulli actually uh, modeled the the kind of the behavior of the population dynamics if people would, were to be inoculated with the smallpox vaccine. And at that time, the average life expectancy was 26 years and seven months. And uh, the question was, should we inoculate them or not? And there were three groups. There was uh, Bernoulli said, like Pfizer and Moderna said go ahead, inoculate. Uh, mm -hmm. And he had data to back him up. Uh, there was Dan Burr, another famous man, who said, you know, like the FDA, we need more data, hold on. And uh, then there were, of course, um, people who opposed it and said, what a foolish idea. And what you might today call the anti-vaxxers. So the drama played out at that time, but uh, Bernoulli emphasized that differential equations uh, are an important tool for public health decisions. Whether he was right or wrong was not clear to him as well. But I think when people learn differential equations, they learn to model the real world. They represent our best chance of modeling the real world. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why we're doing the course. And uh, so just to make it a little clear what it is all about. So uh, we cover ODEs, that means ordinary differential equation. What a mouthful. Uh, and the single f hero of this course is DSOL. That's mm -hmm. the function in Mathematica that actually does all the... Uh, differential equation solving. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked on it a lot. It's a super function. Uh, you can you can teach a class on it. You can write a book about it. You can write several books about it, and people have. So I think if you come to this course, you will have acquired an important skill. Uh, it's difficult, but I think you can do it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've used DSOLVE plenty of times myself. You know, my background is in physics, so I've had uh -huh. to use it quite a bit. And I know you're saying differential equations are important for all kinds of modeling. So you mentioned uh, disease spread modeling, but it's also in economics and chemistry, biology, physics. I mean, there's there's basically nowhere you can go in the sciences or any sort of modeling that doesn't have differential equations. So invaluable tool here. Yes, and I, 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 th I think that therefore I say that the course is for everyone. Uh, in a way, the economists uh, understand differential equations better than anyone. The Black-Scholes model, which uh, on the one hand is used a lot in finance, and some people might even blame that kind of model for the frequent financial crises that we have. So differential equations can make or break things. It's not really that. I think it's the human element, the decisions we make, which go against us or for us. So mm -hmm. but thank you for the support for this area, which I think is really important to yes. the language. Yeah. So um, I think having spoken a bit about the goals, maybe we should show you a little bit about what's really inside the course. And uh, I'll talk about uh, the heart of the course over here is a, a set of 31 video lessons. And these video lessons are, you know, the place where you can learn the topic in great detail. So I think that uh, each of the differential equations lessons will cover a particular area of subject. So the first lesson is always, what is X or Y or Z? This one says, what is a differential equation? Mm -hmm. So let me just play a little bit and show you what the lesson looks like. And uh, so we begin with, uh, you know, dif what differential equation. We talk about differential equations applications. We then go on to, you know, other things like uh, there's differential equations. We talk a bit about history. Then we go on to why they're important modern world. And then we go on to why study them. And then, uh, well, I guess the next question, what the course is about, who is this course for, is it for me? And then the summary of the course. But I think that uh, if you actually go to this course, you will understand that uh, this is an important tool for everyone. And uh, the course also has got exercises, quizzes, even a final exam. And uh, when you come out of it, you will actually have learned a lot of uh, about the subject in a very informal, instructive way. Okay. So, so you have multiple quizzes there and a final exam that students can take. And what happens when they take these? Are these like graded by a person? Are they? What happens with those? Right. So at the moment, uh, we they are auto grade. So as you try them out, you get the grade. And if you want to try them out again, 
that's fine. You can just try them again. Nothing happens. Mm -hmm. So the quizzes are actually very informal and they're meant to actually make you feel good about yourself that you actually understood the, the subject. Uh, the exercises are completely solved. I think it's kind of a little unfair to make students, uh, you know, solve things on their own. So we do give complete solutions and I hope that helps mm -hmm. people as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that the course is very much self-contained. So that's about the content. And of course, the question is, what do I get out of it? And uh, so I'd like to talk a little bit about certification. So this course has uh, two levels of certification. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, you can either say, OK, I want to complete the course and get a level zero certificate, which means that uh, I've done the course, I understand it, but I'm not really going to do the final, if you like. And the final is hard for some people. Uh, and then on the other hand, you might say, no, no, I really do need the mm -hmm. final as well. So then you do that. So uh, I think that's the plan that we have to the certification. And you see over here that uh, the certificate has got the name uh, Jules Henry Poncaré on it. Uh, I'm not sure uh, you know about him, but Poncaré was mm -hmm. one of the most famous mathematicians. He, I would say he uh, even anticipated Einstein and he was the, one of the last great universalists. Mm -hmm. The people who know everything, and I would hope that someone who attends this course will actually, you know, become another Poncare someday. That's my dream for them. Yeah. And uh, the problem is this. The problem is that uh, people are kind of sca scared of mathematics. So you might ask, uh, can I get help? And to do that, we actually have a study group on differential equations planned for November 2021, where mm -hmm. people can come and study uh, the subject in a very guided manner. Right, so, and study groups for people who aren't familiar with those, basically every day for, depends on the course, but two to three weeks is typical. We'll see how long this one will go yes, for. Yes, uh, yeah, so we just finished all the planning. It's going to be three weeks, Okay. Uh, 31 lessons, two lessons a day, uh, with an instructor every day. And uh, I'd say at this point that the I've done the earlier courses myself, but I thought it's time for someone else to try and do one. Mm -hmm. So Luke Titus is an instructor. Uh, he's worked very hard. He worked 16 hours on Labor Day weekend. He really labored on Labor Day weekend. And uh, I think that Luke is a fantastic instructor. Mm -hmm. He'll be around. Uh, I'll come in once a week as the, the, what they call me, the expert. I'm really learning as much as anyone else. But I'll come in once a week to make sure things are going OK. So I think that uh, the study group should be a great place to learn about uh, this, this course. Yeah. We have certainly gotten a lot of good feedback from study group participants so far because they like to come in. It's it's a nice pace every day. There is an hour, in this case, perhaps two hours yeah. of, uh, of instruction from some certified instructor. There are exercises that go along with these things. There are quizzes. There are poll questions to kind of check your understanding as you go. So this is kind of a nice way where, you know, you might want to do the MOOC and you might also want to come to the study group and have kind of a more directed learning experience. Sure, and I've done one of them myself. It's pretty exhausting because the students are very, very demanding. <laughs> they, they find lots of mistakes, which I would never find myself. And um, I have really honestly sweated out to, you know, get uh, satisfy them. But that's great because then people are actually thinking they are mm -hmm. learning the subject. Mm -hmm. So I think the way to do this is to um, enroll for a study group and learn about the subject because that's the most efficient way to do it. And uh, of course, we are talking about differential equation now, but my mind is not there. I'm thinking about the next year. And uh, next year, we've got even better things planned. So um, for the next year, I've got two courses in mind. Uh, there is a course on elementary algebra, like middle school algebra, uh, at the low end. of, And then there's a multi-variable calculus course at the other end. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that to have the algebra course is important, I taught high school algebra a long time ago, and my students are now directors. One of them is an architect in Chicago, and she wrote to me saying, you know, that had it not been for your mathematics teaching, mm -hmm. I would not be here. So when I walk by buildings, I know I did I made an impact on society. So um, algebra is important. Uh, what you see was there's a quadratic formula, perhaps the most uh, important formula in algebra. There's stuff beyond that, nothing is important in that. So I think that uh, algebra is going to be a great course. And of course, you have been a going to be doing it. Yes, I so am. So how's that going? It's going pretty well. Yeah. We're making progress on it. We're uh, recording lessons, writing scripts, 
you know, updating the mathematics itself, yeah. uh, at least the presentation of the mathematics, we, we may not be discovering any new math exactly. But uh, I think this will be a really great foundation for people who are coming in and want to learn some math. And, you know, maybe when they're done with this, they can move on to linear algebra and calculus, and eventually even this multivariable calculus course that you're talking about. Right. And the multivariable calculus course actually is uh, pretty difficult, but very beautiful. Uh, we've got a, a gallery of graphics which will please anyone in the world. And uh, uh, George Green, Green's theorem, he actually was a miller. He was a baker and, you know, he worked in a mill by day and by night he'd go up to the top of a star and do mathematics. Uh, he's a great inspiration for me. So mm. uh, you learn about the work of George Green, all kind of stuff. But my feeling is that when we have finished all these five courses, anyone who does them all deserves an applause. So we plan to give a certificate in mathematics to those uh, who actually complete all the five courses. So this yeah. is a dream. The dream is do one course this year, do two more next year, and then we can say, okay, now we have a full suite of mathematics courses. Mm -hmm. um, and um, to make that happen, of course, we've got so many teams. There's uh, Wolfram U, there's Document Quality Assurance, there's our excellent video team. Everyone does their bit to make things fly, you know? Mm -hmm. So I thank them all yeah. for. Yeah, this is a real collaboration. Each one of these courses is, is the work of a lot of people coming together. Yes, so I think that I just want to send a message that if you want to learn mathematics, Wolfram U is now the place to do it. And mm -hmm. keep an eye out. We've got lots of stuff coming. Yeah. Well, great. Thank you very much for telling us about you know this uh, course that's in the works. Hopefully in November 2021. That's when the study group is. And hopefully yeah. the MOOC will come out around then. I'm, I'm sure. So we, we should be just fine to, I mean, to, to finish up. And yes, mm -hmm. for sure. OK. And then we have these two new courses, Introduction to Elementary Algebra and Introduction to Multivariable Calculus that will be coming out next year if all things go well. I think they should be ready next year for sure, right? Yeah, thank you very much for all the encouragement. And it's, it's, uh, I mean, it's nice to talk and have a chance to let people know what, we, what we're doing. So. Mm -hmm. well, thanks once again, Devendra, for telling us about uh, all these interesting courses that are coming up and the upcoming study group as well. Thank you, Arvind. It was a pleasure to talk with you. Uh, and you know, talk about my passion with mathematics courses. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's infectious. I look forward to working with you more on the algebra course. Thank you. Right. That was Devendra, who is our manager for calculus and algebra here at Wolfram Research. So stay tuned for more upcoming Tech Talks. And remember, we do have in November 2021, this differential equation study group coming up. So if you're interested in learning about differential equations, the study group is a great way to do that. So please sign up. And we'll have plenty more tech talks coming your way on a variety of subjects. See you next time.